Welcome to Vanderbilt Colorectal Surgery. We're so glad you've chosen to get your care here. Today, we're going to review the preoperative prehabilitation program for patients undergoing abdominal surgery. Why are we doing this? Well, the goal is to lower the chance of surgical risk to each patient. To do this, we have implemented a preoperative program to help with impactful weight loss prior to abdominal surgery. We know that excess weight is associated with complications, including bleeding, wound infections, surgical time, and a leak at the intestinal reconnection that we create. So again, the goal is to improve surgical risk to the individual. <clears throat> The outline of the daily meal plan is as follows, with a goal calorie intake of 1,200 to 1,500 per day. This includes either two liquid protein shakes or two protein bars, and one solid meal with a protein and non-starchy vegetable. It's important to drink at least eight glasses of water or sugar-free drink every day, and it's fine to snack on anything with less than 10 calories per serving, like sugar-free jello, popsicles, or broth. Here are a list of some types of protein shakes and bars that have enough protein. This is also listed in the handout you were given in clinic. For both the liquid protein shake as well as the protein bar, they should contain at least 20 grams of protein. This is an example of how some of them may look. And making sure to have at least 20 grams of protein in them. The solid meal, it should include four to six ounces of meat, dairy, or can be substituted for high protein vegetarian foods such as lentils or beans. This also shows examples of non-starchy vegetables, which is in your handout as well. You can have unlimited non-starchy vegetables. You can also check the freezer section for prepared meat and veggie meals and can also use canned meats and vegetables, but be sure to rinse them well before eating. So what does four to six ounces of protein look like? Well, examples include a medium chicken breast, two chicken drumsticks, one to one and a half quarter pound beef patties, a salmon filet or other fish, one boneless pork chop, or a half a block of tofu. These are some pictures showing examples of a protein as well as the non-starchy vegetables. Here's fish with Brussels sprouts and carrots and green beans, chicken, again, Brussels sprouts and carrots, as well as a vegetable and tofu bowl, salmon and steak, roasted vegetables and pork chop. Again, it's important to drink enough water to help your body stay hydrated. So this can also help with a sensation of hunger. You should be drinking at least eight glasses of water or sugar-free drink a day, which includes plain water or sparkling water, coffee, or sugar-free sodas. And also eat snacks with less than 10 calories per serving, which could be sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free jello, chicken, vegetable, or beef broth. First 48 hours are generally the most challenging. Side effects of a low calorie diet, again, especially the first day or two, may include dizziness, dry mouth, headache, bad breath, fatigue, and bowel changes. You usually begin to feel better on the second or third day. So what do you do if you become hungry? Well, if you're really hungry, drink some water or other low calorie beverage and wait 10 minutes. If you remain really hungry, you can have an extra one quarter of a protein shake or bar. If headache or dizziness occurs, make sure you're staying well hydrated. Try drinking a serving of broth one to two times per day. You should also check your blood sugar right away if you have diabetes, and you may need to speak with your endocrinologist about a medication adjustment when starting this diet. If you have kidney disease, this is a list of protein powders and shakes that are more kidney, friend kidney friendly. This is also found in the handout. Remember, you can do this, and this is something we're doing in the best interest of your health. Always reference your clinic handout, follow the guidelines to help decrease your risk at the time of surgery, 
And please feel free to message the colorectal clinic through My Health at Vanderbilt if you have questions or concerns. We look forward to helping you on your pathway to better health and recovery. Thank you.